Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Growth Vertical. I'm Neil Patel and I'm a growth marketer based in the UK and on this channel we discuss growth marketing and personal growth so we can better growth hack our careers, particular businesses and ourselves. And today we're going to be talking about using case studies to fuel growth, especially in the B2B SaaS software industry or the SaaS tech industry or SaaS startup industry. Here's the problem, right? Creating and promoting a case study uh, and thinking it will do all the heavy lifting for you. Now, there's a lot of startups that actually say, hey, well, we've got these couple of key customers out there that have had phenomenal results, and we wanna create a case study on those particular businesses. Now, that's great, right? In fact, I would definitely recommend you do that, but to think that it's gonna do all the heavy lifting for you is probably where things go wrong. Now, let me ask you this. If you're creating a case study right now as in your, at your startup, are you creating the right case study? Right now, that question might be a bit like, "Oh, what do you mean by that?" Well, yeah, there is more than one type of case study, right? There's a sales case study, and then there's a guided case study, which is more value-driven. Now, where the differences lie are in where they are used and when, right? Especially where in the funnel, right? So higher up or lower down the funnel when someone already knows a lot about you. So simply put, right? Sales case studies. And I've got, a, I've got a few notes because we were having a discussion about this the other day. And sales case studies are actually more about, look what we've done for X client, right? And guided case studies are more so where they take you through a problem, right? And they focus on giving you the series of steps to go ahead and cure that pain or even just sort of, and yeah, and, and how it could help you to get the same result. So remember, sales is more so, look what we've done, and guided is more so, look what this person has done, right? Look what this person has done. Um, here's a series of steps on how you can achieve the same result. So one, you're really positioning as, hey, you don't need any interference, right? You can just take this information and you can go ahead and you're essentially saying that hey, here's the series of steps that but this company took. So you say, this company achieved this by doing this, and here's how you can do the same, right? Whereas a sales case study is really saying, hey, well, check out what our customer has done, right? And that's what you really need to understand. Sales-oriented case studies, you know, should be used more lower down the funnel because you're essentially saying it's suitable for those prospects that are already, they already have high intent, you know, they've got a high enough clarity on what it is that you do and what the problem is, what the solution is out there. And they only need to be convinced now that you're the perfect sol solution for them, right? Just simply because these other companies have done it or maybe their competitor has done it with you and they should also sign up too. Now, guided case studies are more for demand gen, sort of lead gen type of, they're more demand gen and lead, ten, lead gen type of hybrid content. So they offer value first and they almost really educate the user about the problem, right? You're focused more so on the problem. So if you're a trailblazer in your market, it, your startup is doing something fairly brand new, then you really wanna be focused on creating a guided case study if you've got an existing customer or all your customers and you probably wanna keep it, I would even say you probably don't wanna even gate it every single time because you want people to really understand and digest the information of what they can actually do. Fair enough, you can use that as part of a lead generation strategy. To be honest, higher up the funnel, this is how you're gonna educate most of the market, right? Through the use of how this company achieved this by following these series of steps and how they can do the same. And it may be that the bonus may be that they used your platform to do it, right? But it's way more powerful in that sense when they find out that you can't do most of it, you can't do a lot of those things without your platform, just simply because you're the only solution that provides it, right? You are the trailblazer. And alternatively, you might still think of it, if you're not a trailblazer, you're still thinking about it as, hey, well, I'm gonna help these guys achieve this or achieve this result the same way our customers did, but they didn't even really need us directly, but they did use us. We do have a name drop or an insert at the, uh, within the case study that shows them how they almost tackled a similar or related problem 
that now you are involved in, that your product and service actually is um, good for, right? That helps him with that. So yeah, I mean, I'm wondering if I missed anything, but the bonus is, I guess the bonus here is that, you know, as a brand, you are the helper, you're positioning yourself as the helper and, you know, you are the educator. It's another touch point with the prospect. So in the end, you wanna make good with that touch point with the prospect and you wanna be able to sort of position yourself as the authority directly and you know they want to be able to almost recall the fact that you were the person that helped them when with that specific problem in that specific area and now you're associated with that area so they are likely going to come back to you to see or come back to your site or come re almost become a returning visitor to see if there's anything else you can do to help them so ultimately when it comes to prospects and they want to find the problem that that serve use then in the end you essentially are setting yourselves for that right ultimately you're saying that when it comes to prospects trying to find a particular solution to a problem that you solve right they will likely think of you because we've helped them initially and then when it comes to convincing people through like the sales team and almost saying hey well we've been we've had a meeting we know enough about your product we've got five solutions to choose from but who's the perfect product and now a case a sales driven case study is really good for that just a quick snippet into using how to use case studies to fuel growth and how not to just create one single type of case studies. Remember, sales, great, sales, sales based case studies and guided case studies that are more value driven, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did like the video, please do like, subscribe and share. If you do have any questions or you wanna see any particular videos on growth marketing, then do drop any ideas and questions in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, see you soon.